welcome to this session from Iglu Regional Center for Children. The program is under the National Energy Conservation Day celebrations at Iglu Regional Center for Children. And today will be uh, the to topic is uh, mainly the lifestyle for ad environment advocacy in day to day life. First, we'll just start with the basics of what energy is. It's just a force that causes things to move. To the studied in physics, that it's the capacity for doing work. And the forms of energy, uh, we have heard uh, this chemical energy, mechanical energy, nuclear energy. And the types of energy makes us to uh, wonder of what is renewable and what is not renewable. And uh, even though it may exist as potential ki kinetic, thermal, electrical, chemical, and nuclear. Based on the movement, we generally say it as potential when it is in the stored position and kinetic when there is a motion. And when it, based on renewability, it is either renewable energy or non-renewable energy. So for this session, you uh, just to remember that uh, the term the renewable energy and non-renewable energy. The importance of energy, that is the energy powers, computer, transportation, communications, cutting edge, medical equipment, and irrigation, and also at home, the electricity for lighting, water, heating, cooking, washing clothes, pre-preparation of food like grinding, and also the natural gas for lighting, water, heating, all are, uh, uh, reveals to us the importance of energy in our day-to-day -day life. The use of energy actually, we uh, cannot, uh, 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 what is it, escape from not using energy. So, human beings rely on energy in daily life. And uh, energy used can be divided among the four economic uh, sectors the residential heating and cooling of our homes, the commercial lighting of office buildings, the transportation and the moving of uh, uh, the um, cargo and also the industrial manufacturing of products, including irrigation facilities. And why we have to conserve energy? We were saying of what are the uh, uses of energy. Now, is energy perennial? Is a question when it comes, when we have to rely on energy source in our day-to-day -day life. Not all source of energy are perennial. Renewable energy are only perennial. So why do we have to conserve energy? That comes to a question because not all energy are renewable. So energy consumption has a significant impact on our environment and also on the economy. And for ensuring continuous source of supply of energy for use, we have to conserve energy. So conserving energy as a mission makes us to take to a uh, understanding of what COP is and what is COP26 and it is association with India. So COP stands for Conference of the Parties and the summit was attended uh, generally attended by the countries that signed the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. India is also one of, one of the countries who have signed the uh, United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. This treaty came into force in the year 1994. COP26, that is Conference of the Parties 26, and the Conserving Energy as a Mission uh, is the highlight of uh, today's discussion. And it's linked with India's role in uh, making life, that is, lifestyle for environment as an abbreviation to take in each of the individual's life of all the human beings existing in this world. The uh, UN Climate Change Conference in Glasgow, that is COP26 we refer to as, brought together 120 world leaders including registered participants, party delegates, observers, and media representatives. It was held for two weeks, and the outcome of COP26 is called as the Glasgow Climate, and is the fruit of the intense negotiations among the 200 countries over the two weeks. But virtually for two years, people were engaged both in person and also in uh, uh, virtually. 
with each other. So friends, you uh, we can see the effort, how much it has been uh, put to for the COP26 as the conserving energy uh, as a mission has been state, uh, has a uh, key role played by India in that COP26. Uh, sorry, COP26. I repeat once again, in India, uh, Indian government was also uh, a part of this United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. And uh, uh, in COP26, life mission, that is lifestyle for environment, as an energy conserving mission, was a statement given by our Prime Minister. So, uh, what was agreed in COP26? It is recognizing the emergency of the necessity of limiting the increase of global average temperature to well below 2 degrees centigrade, accelerating action to reduce carbon dioxide emissions, moving away from fossil fuels and agreeing to a provision calling for a phase down of coal power and a phase out of inefficient fossil fuel subsidies, delivering on climate finance by developed countries for developing countries, stepping up support for adoption of green technologies to mitigate the greenhouse gas emissions, operation details for practical implementation of the Paris Agreement, which is called as the Paris Rule Book, and focusing on loss and damage associated with the adverse effects of climate change. And what is India's role in COP26 together for our planet? India was represented by our Honorable Prime Minister and addressing the COP26 summit, Prime Minister Sir made the pledge. The first time India has to set a net zero target at the Glasgow summit. So what is net zero? Net zero or becoming carbon neutral means not adding to the amount of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. And Prime Minister Sir also said that the India will achieve net carbon, uh, net zero carbon emissions by the year 2070. And uh, it was also told by our Prime Minister that India will reach its non-fossil energy capacity and also meet 50% of its energy requirements from renewable energy by 2030. In addition, the country's emissions uh, will be reduced at the, at least 45 percent by the year 2030. In the existing target, India has promised and uh, to reduce emissions in uh, intensity by 30, 33 to 35 percent. And the uh, mission life, that is lifestyle for environment. Here, why the abbreviation is with small i. Because it starts with I as an individual and moves as a collective responsibility across the society and the lifestyle for environment. It was first proposed by our Prime Minister at COP26. So what is the term you have to remember? So far, one is renewable energy, non-renewable energy, mission life. Life means lifestyle for environment. First proposed by our Prime Minister at COP26. So lifestyle for environment advocacy, it's a individual global uh, movement that will uh, make individual and also collective efforts. So it is not just only one individual. We, we always say with one hand we cannot clap. So also in any movement related to protection of the environment, conserving of energy, it has to be a collective effort, but it will start with me, that is I as an individual. So what is life? Life is lifestyle for environment. And it is also the first country to include life in its nationally determined uh, contribution. And it also seeks to translate the vision of life into measurable impact. As a global uh, program, mission um, life, that is lifestyle for uh, environment, it has the individual capacity, uh, uh, also responsibility, leading to collective uh, responsibility. We are always told about a story that in collection of, uh, um, of milk in a vessel, 
initially everybody was pouring water thinking the other one will put uh, the uh, milk whereas uh, at the end it was only uh, water diluted i mean colored with little uh, white color so uh, everyone thinks the other one can do it but when it comes to me doing as an individual matters a lot when it comes to a community so the change in demand the change in supply the change in policy or all the three uh, core shifts in our collective uh, approach towards sustainability under mission life crisis lifestyle for environment and what are the actions in lifestyle for environment advocacy if they have specified actually seven uh, uh, the um, actions which we can use it in our daily life and so energy saving action the water saving action single use plastic reducing action sustainable food um, system action and also waste reducing action healthy lifestyle adopting action e waste reducing action and uh, the um, the lifestyle advocacy has something for us to do at individual level in daily life and at the end when it comes to measure measurable impact the collective responsibility will be highlighted and what can you do on national energy conservation day the national energy conservation day uh, is observed in india every year on december 14th since 1991 and the best way you can do is to have a checklist of the life advocacy whether you are having energy saving actions whether you can have you are having any water saving actions for example do you uh, catch water when when you are in a mug and then use it to brush your teeth or use running water energy saving action one of it is like do you really uh, uh, switch off the light when you don't need it when you are leaving or you are switch on the light only when you need it single use plastic reducing action and uh, the sustainable food system action whether you have multiple uh, food habits even including the millets so that you can you are healthy you are what you eat so how, uh, what you eat uh, it makes you what you are and the less your medical uh, conditions uh, or the distorted physical conditions uh, then better your health uh, uh, health will be and better your lifestyle also will be and uh, uh, the waste reducing actions so uh, and the healthy lifestyle adopting action instead of using uh, the treadmill do you use the walker uh, and in the outside and then uh, have a healthy lifestyle and uh, do you use the staircase uh, instead of using elevator and also e waste reducing action so the best way is to check whether you have at least one under each of the seven uh, actions in lifestyle for environment advocacy specified on this national energy conservation day so how to start saving energy on the national energy conservation day so something when we are listening and something you know that the indian government is mainly is the first person that to our prime minister who introduced this terminology of life that is lifestyle for environment what you can integrate into your life the simple way is to start to leave the room after switching off the light is not needed so uh, many a time when you uh, uh, think of the policy decision the action to be taken at your end as an individual a small life skill education is also needed to integrate this life that is lifestyle for environment advocacy in our individual life so what is the life skill you need yes yesterday i would have forgotten of what to do related to the action specified uh, for lifestyle for environment advocacy at least i can start today and tomorrow is not going to come and definitely today is the best time to start and when you do uh, uh, the lifestyle for environment that is life advocacy 
definitely uh, you can you need not worry about your life also because energy is not all energy is not uh, renewable and we also place the acknowledgement uh, to the authorities for facilitating the concept for this presentation on national energy conservation day and uh, we have taken the content from presentation from this website and i've given this so that you can be benefited of further reading and i also acknowledge the uh, role played by shri mohammad ansar for the technical assistance of this uh, program and madam um, reshma suresh for the back office operations and also for preparing the powerpoint and i acknowledge the role played by dr l chandrashekar and also madam reshma suresh for their contribution in typing this presentation so with this uh, uh, content the take home message is uh, lifestyle for environment introduced in uh, the term introduced in cop26 by our prime minister it has seven energy saving actions and the best way to start is today without worrying about tomorrow do you have at least one uh, energy saving action or uh, uh, which has been specified the simple way of energy saving action is to switch on the light only when you need it and switch off the lights when you don't need it thank you for watching this program from igno research center coaching